one one three five. That's in Newton's book. Wait, hold on, I got a we're, we're not the smartest. Yeah, I have one for <laughs> I got the rest from before we start. Yeah, maybe fast, but I'll probably get started by now. You said that to me, and I didn't do it when we spent 30 minutes talking. Go for it. Can I sprint down the hall? No, I really, I really had to pee. Like, I was doing the whole dance. I just don't care if I'm holding it. It's bad. So we're all walking to this class like this. That's how I was walking. Hi, Kevin. Why do apples look like peaches? I do, don't I? Oh my god, then that and then... Alright, so y'all tried four. On the surface of planet X, the gravitational field is 1.26 times that on Earth. What is the mass of a 22.5 kilogram weight on planet X? Okay. See? Of A. See, we broke this point. We, we broke this down, really. We broke it down. We you said to work with of us? A, 22.5 kilogram weight, right? The mass would be 22.5 kilograms because that is just a weight. Like, like a say, dumbbell. Like a dumbbell weight. Right? Right. We broke it down to try to trick us. Please. <laughs> Alright, so if you would have said, see, right. see, you can't tell us we're wrong because if you would have worded it of something that is. Oh, take it easy. I can always tell you you're wrong. Are we wrong? Were, were we right? Is one of the answers right? Well, at 1.26 be the initial velocity. What? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Alright, what's the answer? What's the answer y'all got? 22.5. It's either 22. Alright, hold on. Y'all say 22.5. Kilograms. Kilograms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I don't, was 12.36 of 6 one of the answers or not? No, that was one of the things we used to know. See, my, 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 um, my, my contribution is number one. My yeah. contribution is number two. And the I last one's Logan's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> how, how bad is Look it? Look at it. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate this uh, yeah, I think, experience? Yeah, I didn't even know where I should start. I think I think one's a pretty good option here. Like, cause I thought. All right. Like, so on good. the surface of planet X, the gravitational field is one point six two six times that on Earth. Oh. What is the mass of a twenty two point five kilogram weight on planet X? So we're this trying to find mass. Okay. I can guarantee it's not number two. Dang it, I'm out. It's number one. Because Newton is a measurement of force. force. No, Newton yeah. is a mass. I asked for mass, not weight. Kilograms is mass. Oh, please. <laughs> the correct answer. Wait. Is it Yeah. It's always kilograms. Well, it too. stays the same. Uh, it like doesn't matter where you're price. at, what you're doing, what's happening. If I am 100 kilograms on the surface of the earth, I am 100 kilograms in the International Space Station. Uh, Mass never changes. Mass never changes. Never changes. Weight changes. In my okay. Because weight. Give you mass. Give me weight. Sorry. No, it was a weight. It was like a dumbbell thing. He tried to trick us. He really tried to trick us. I Kilograms is mass. The fact right. that we argued for oh, 45 it. minutes over this. This is weight. Uh, weight is a measurement of force. Yeah, that. That. So you're telling changed. me that I, I didn't even have to toss. 
You well, didn't have to do anything. You 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 didn't and mass is always kilograms. Not always, you have to convert them, but like when you, in when it's class. final, when it's an answer, it's always that. Oh, I'm still yeah. you using that and it helps you get the right answer. Yeah. That's fine. I'm what we were saying is right. You tried to trick us. You know what on every problem? Oh. Uh, yeah. This is the only one we get. so great with one dimension. No. 20 minutes arguing over the answer that's in the problem. Do you understand that we're having this much trouble with one dimension and do you really think we're going to go to two dimensions? Two, two do I think easier. you're going to go to two dimensions? Yes, because we're doing it today. Do oh you my think goodness. We're right in. No, I can't what remember. Is, so the test, is the test just one dimension? Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. All right, so to end this off before we actually start working on problems, I have a question to ask you. Yes, What's sir. Up? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, in terms <laughs> oh, what? of force. Okay, I get this. Yep. Then if an object busy. is at equilibrium. Uh, I lost it. Is Sounds that good. what? Equilibrium mm -hmm. is what's in your ears to keep you balanced. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> is that really what it is? It's your equilibrium. Uh, there is equilibrium in there, but that's yeah. not what the definition of equilibrium is. I'm going to put that. Is if it's on the test, I'm going to say something in your ears to keep you balanced. Equilibrium is when two things are equal. Okay? Like, they're, everything's equal. So it's kind of like if you took, if you ran a tub of hot water and then you threw ice in the hot water. This is George, my dog. What happens is over time, those two are going to find a state of equilibrium. The ice is going to melt and the hot water is going to cool down. Mm -hmm. To where they're going to mix together and they'll find a state of equilibrium eventually where there is no change. Everything is equal out. It's at its stopping point. So at this case, in terms of force, if an object is at equilibrium, what are the values for the forces acting okay. on the object. So we've got the force of gravity. The Why do force. I always feel so? What if you're in space? There is no gravity. Well, you didn't Zero. Exactly. But this is like this is the most wide, broad, like, idea out there, but it's so crucial to helping you solve physics problems. So many problems we're going to solve in two dimensions is dealing thing. with this idea of equilibrium. And he put it zero out instead of the question mark. What's zero? Zero. Kind of Gravity. Gravity zero. Gravity. Gravity. It is not working at all. The net force. Work in space. <laughs> Zero <minutes. laughs> we hit single number one. So in this, the net force equals zero. It looks like it says net force is on. Net. <laughs> net on. <laughs> oh, it's on. <laughs> oh God, help us, please. That's what I pray every day. <laughs> so what about? Net 
to the next reaction. Zero. Why do you say zero? Because it's not moving. Because it's, it's at equilibrium, so yeah. it's not moving. At equilibrium, so everything the X direction cancels out. Net X on. <laughs> but net force in the Y direction. Zero. Oh, zero. Because, Why? because there's no gravity, bro. There's nothing. So nothing there can be gravity. Because you're at equilibrium. equilibrium. You're at equilibrium. Everything's canceling out. And in terms of net force. Zero? You're not moving. You have to equilibrium. use this information at times to be able to find values for things. Fnet oh. Y? Fnetty? Oh. So, like, <laughs> with this, like, with the equilibrium <laughs> thing you were saying, right? Seven like, does that work for, like, spinning a basketball? Like, if I spin a basketball on my finger, it's all, I'm obviously keeping it, like, level and crap. No. But, like, where it's moving, what, how, like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said okay. all of that in just to say, I don't understand. In terms of that, the linear <laughs> forces are zero. Okay. But then you have a centripetal acceleration. Said, We're not there yet. Understand. Because when you spin the ball, uh, that's what happens is it spins around. Okay. But is it moving around, up? Around. No. So net force in the y direction? Zero. Okay. okay. Is it moving in the x direction? No. Can we no. do that as a so project? Like, calculate how. No. Like, no. Like, listen, I was like messing with I was squeezing it and I was putting the ball up in its head and it's got a little hole in its head now. Alright, so we have made it to the point. <laughs> to where? <laughs> we can actually do some problems. I don't know about in two dimensions. So please remember that tomorrow we have special guests coming to be on Best Behavior. Uh, do we have to dress up? You do in. not have to dress up. I have I to dress up. I say we all come in pajamas. Uh, yeah, I was expecting them to tell us we're not going to dress up, but we don't. We're to do I say we all come in pajamas. I'm coming in. Next thing we'll say anything No. I'm coming in shorts. Go back to class. That's that. That's a good, though, not. That was great. The F net that is on. I hope you know that. No. No, I'm not. What is that thing? I told him that the F net was on. We're all going like mentally insane in here. The kid walks in, you're sitting there, it's Gerald. It's Gerald. <laughs> 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 He's turned into Gerald up to the street. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald! Would you like to say hi to Gerald, Mr. Darryl? Darryl? What's up, Gerald? No, I don't want to know. Yeah, you do. No, no. What is it? Jordan. Probably been rumors and stuff getting spread and yada yada. Do you have CDL, Mr. Kim? Only y'all understand that, though. Ah, <laughs> I mean. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, 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 uh, Just out of the blue, do you have CDLs? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his head! <laughs> she has a gross. Uh, that's what I did earlier and it popped it. You better watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, Christy. Okay. You don't want your duck to So, in your mind, not Christy. Oh, back up. So, here we go. <laughs> Boom. Come on, there are the days and the numbers we're going to work on and do. Come on, y'all. We need to work on these. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Where did my physics come from? I haven't had one, I don't think. I don't think. I, I haven't took it out of the room. Except for like twice. This, 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 this. And it was sitting in this bed. <laughs> can I take my locker? Yeah, it's not. Why does it matter? It's a black one. I'm on All right, so these are the numbers we're going to work on. Give you just a minute, keep that down. Oh, here we go. Hey. All right. 144 and 146. Um, 62 through 64.
Do you have the picture? I was just going to send my first so you can see it on the screen. Hey, Maddie, can you get us calculators? Yeah. Is that Thank you. Yeah, please put it under the top. Put it on top of the top. Oh, the no, take a picture of what we put there. Yeah, and then move it somewhere else. And then have it. Now take a picture of it there. No, there's two <laughs> pictures of it. Take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. Okay, move it. Here we go. Sit it on top. Sit it on top. Hey, hey, hey. On top of the thing. No, because I'm going to say it. Oh, you're messing with me. I'm going to say it. Derek has never had a bit party. And look at it. That's wrong. I'm not waiting. What the crap? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Not so, really. On six to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a caveman. Alright, so on number 62, you see there in the book, it's uh, two forces are acting on the ring in figure 22. What is the net force acting on the ring? So in this case, there we're looking at it. Uh, this might be the best line you've ever done. Good job, Mr. You know what the worst part is? My arms are so sore. <laughs> Like, From what? Well, me and Mary decided this. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> we, um, we decided to make a good health decision, so we got a uh, membership down at Silverback. Oh, Last night after nice. the game, we went and worked out. That's good. And I have not worked out in so long. I literally worked my chest and shoulders, but I have not worked out in so long that for me doing butterflies, Mmm, oh. crispy. My biceps <laughs> are sore. Hold on, by butterflies do you mean? Like the like up and down? Butterflies or, butterflies uh, or lay down butterflies. I did Connor machine and I did lay down number. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, I don't get you. we have these two forces acting on this ring. So here's the first force in red. We have 400 newtons. Now this is the thing, we're trying to get you used to it. 400 newtons is the magnitude. Now direction is going to change a little bit here. Your direction is 50 degrees off that x-axis. In everything that you're doing, it's going to be based off of going from this x-axis to give direction. But you're not going to solve triangles like that. We're going to solve right triangles. So does it... Will it always give you like this like diagram of the thing? No. It won't. No. Nope. You have to make. So for example, like here for 500 newtons, but it's at 40 degrees. I don't think you went through the <laughs> All right, so now in this, we're trying to find the net force. So in order for us to find the net force. I can't find my book. Are you sure it's not sitting in a desk somewhere? It was sitting in that desk. I never moved it. Is it the one that I gave you at the beginning of the year to take home with you? It's the one that you assigned me that I sat in that desk right there. <laughs> okay, but I gave you... Different ones. I gave one for you to actually take home. Okay, well, I didn't take a, I didn't take one home. Okay. Well, then you've lost we'll two it. books. <laughs> we'll find it. All right. So the F net. Okay, this is going to be a single number. But on this, what we're going to find is we're going to find some value, the magnitude, which will be the number, and that'll be in newtons. But then we'll have it at some angle. In order for us to do this, we need the net force will be equal to the square root of. Please do not get too carried away. Okay? I'm already carried away. Jesus Christ. Net force in the x direction. 
square. What's the, what's the A stand for? At. At. Oh, oh what? Oh my goodness. Why and plus the net force in the y direction squared, and that's all under the square root. For those of you that haven't. So technically, it's just the, F, the net force of the x plus the net force of the y. Squared together the square root. But if you're taking the square root of both of them. Yeah. Wouldn't that just be? That'd just be We're not multiplying. You can't break it apart like that. Oh. This right here. When you see an addition sign under a radical, you cannot break that out. Oh. Well. Golden rule. You cannot break it out. Well. Dr. Well, Silver warned us 15 times. Will it give us what the net force is? Sometimes it can, sometimes it won't. In this case, I didn't. So I'm asking you to find it, but we give you a way to solve for it. So, perfect example is sitting here when you look at it, what do you have? We have a hypotenuse and a hypotenuse. Well, what do you mean a hypotenuse, Mr. Powell? Well, look right here. We use Sokotoa, don't we? That's exactly what we're going to do, but we have to have the sub vectors. So there is this force in the x direction. So I'm going to call this force one x direction. Fix. And this is force one y direction. Because right here is the right angle. Now here's the key. Be careful whenever you're using these functions and make sure you're using this, this angle properly. This is the angle we're going to read off of. If you want to flip and do this angle, you can solve for that angle, but that's just more work. Now, it's the same thing over here. This is force 2, y direction. And this is force 2, x direction. So in this, where we have to find the net force in the x direction, the net force in the y direction, the easiest way for us to do that, you need to think of, is the net force in the x direction, the summation of all the forces in the x direction, the net force in the y direction, the summation of all the forces in the y direction. So we break this into these components and break this into these components, then we can add these together and we can solve around for it. So what I'm saying is let's find... Force one in the y direction. Whenever I look at it, I'm trying to find force one in the y direction, so that's opposite. So I'm going to use the sine of 50 degrees is equal to opposite force one y direction divided by hypotenuse, which is 400 newtons. So then I'll find force one y direction is equal to 400 newtons times the sine of 50 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. I get 306 point four one seven eight newtons. Now here's the thing you gotta think of in this case. This force is going up. So should this be positive or negative? Positive. This should be positive. I haven't labeled nothing out of positive or negative because I'm practically looking at a normal Cortesian system. So I'm leaving everything the way it normally is. Now we need that force one in the extra force one in the x direction, that is adjacent, so that's a cosine of 50 degrees, and that's equal to force of 1 sub x divided by 400 newtons, so then force 1 x is equal to 400 newtons times cosine of 50 degrees. I have no idea what the heck. It's just tricky.
Oh, uh, what mode is it supposed to be in? Degree. 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 We you? will not deal with radians in here. Okay. How For do now. you know what mode you Wait. need cosine or sine? How do you do degree? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you go here, do you see this, this angle? I do. Okay, I'm trying to find this. So oh. in terms of that angle, what side is that? That's the opposite side. Here, for the x direction, this is the adjacent side. So the opposite is sine, the adjacent is cosine. Hmm. Opposite. So good to Opposite is sine. And adjacent side. Okay, so I got to do the same things over here for the force of two in the y direction. Hold on, that force of one in the x direction. I got 257.1150 newtons. Should that be positive or negative? Positive. Positive, because it's going in the positive direction. All right, so force two y. In this case, I'm coming from this angle, trying to find force two y. What angle? So, Mr. Hall. If it's going that way, it'd be negative, right? Because it's on that side of the axis? Which one? X or Y? I don't know. X. X. <laughs> so I'm here. If I went left on the it's X axis, what's, those are the negative numbers. Okay, so like, see how we got, how you just asked us if it would be negative or positive? You said positive because it's in that direction. So if we yep. go and we're doing this one, it's going to be negative. Yeah, but I'm doing the Y right now. The Y is not going to be, but the X the will be. The Y won't be because the Y is still going up. But you're, you're thinking right. I just didn't want to make sure I didn't want to confuse you and say yes. And then you say, I thought you said it was going to be negative. Okay. But I'm dealing with the Y. The Y is staying in the same direction. But you're right, Christy. In the X direction, absolutely. Okay. So then as we're coming off this angle, trying to find that, this force from that angle is opposite side. So again, we'll use the sign. But this is 40 degrees is equal to force 2 sub y all over 500 newtons. Okay. Don't get so caught up on the force 2 sub y thing. I just labeled it. If you wanted to, you could have called it force y. apple. We just do 2y. It, it don't matter. It's whatever you want to call it. So then it is force 2y equals 500 newtons times the sine of 40 degrees. Let's multiply both sides by 500. Gotcha. The sine of 40 degrees? Yep. So we're solving based off that reference angle. So in this one it's 321.3938 newtons. Should that be positive or negative? Positive. Because it's in the positive y direction. Yeah. We should keep it positive. Is everybody good there? Hold on. Can you give me time to catch up? I'm still on the red part. Oh. Is that cosine 50 on F1x? Yeah. Okay. That's my cursor. I'm sorry. Uh, it looks like chicken scratch. I wish I knew how to write cursor. Can you write your name up here? That's, it. That's all you'll need to know. Yeah, that's literally all I can do. And then X is cosine? Yep. Because that's the adjacent side. Okay. So, is this kind of like one of those F of X things? What do you mean F of X? No, 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 no. This isn't functions. I'm saying like it, it's, I'm not saying it's functions, I'm saying it's kind of like that. Like we're... Mm -hmm. No. No. Will we use tangent? Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. So, like, when it doesn't give us a hypotenuse? The way to work is so, like, here in a second, when we get these forces, then think about it. We're going to have an X and a Y component, right? But we don't have the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the actual net force. So, yeah. we have to use the tangent to get the hypotenuse. See, I know how to, I know that like sine is opposite over hypotenuse or whatever. I know all that, but I don't know how to look at it and figure out which one to use. 
Yeah. Okay, so like on. Like, where do I need to start at, or whatever? Like, do I start at the angle? Yeah. Yes, the I angle mean? tells you everything. This is how I know this is going to be weird, but this is how I learned to do it. So like. So like here at this angle, I look at what sides I've got. So this feeds out. What it feeds out to and is not apart, like that angle's not touching, I know this is opposite. The side that is a part of it, I know is adjacent. Hmm. And then the one that's opposite of the right angle, I know it's hypotenuse. See, I've See, never, I've never know. understood that. Honestly, as far as like I know the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse, but like the opposite of the I've always said that the hypotenuse is the field. <laughs> like if you're trying to find f you want sub r or whatever. So like here. Yeah. Would you? Okay. No, you're good. You're good. So which one is that from this angle? The opposite. It's the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Which one of your trig functions uses opposite? Isn't both sine and tangent use it? They do, the but which thing. one uses hypotenuse? Because which one do you have? Oh. Okay. 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 So whatever that like, give you is what's going to be on the bottom. So like for F. Not always. So I've actually used uh, so here, how about me over adjacent, or adjacent over how about this? Yeah. Okay. That's cosine. Because you're going to yep, you're going to do the cosine because this is the adjacent side, and that's your hypotenuse. Okay. Hopefully that helps. I struggled so much with that for the longest time. And then when I was in college, I had, I had, I think I watched a video and it, it showed me that. And for whatever reason, I remember it like that. You good now, Logan? Give me just one more second. Sorry. Okay. Now, can you explain the process where you like you'll write down cosine of 40 degrees is equal to f2 sub x over 500 newtons? How does that go from that to 500 newtons times. Okay, this what what I'm doing there is so like here, I got the sine of 40 degrees uh -huh. is equal to f2y bless you, because that's the opposite over the hypotenuse. I'm trying to find that. Oh, okay. So it's so just like just, using it as an equation. Yeah. So okay. I just multiply by 500. Okay. Good. Yeah. So. Are we only going to be dealing with like sine and cosine? Or? Sine, cosine, and tangent. And then you're going to do the inverse functions. Oh. What's the inverse? The inverse is when you're trying to find the angle. Isn't that okay, like what, what's secant, the? cosecant, and... No, 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 no. no. Those are not inverses. So we're not doing Those that. Are, right. We're not doing secant. I'm not doing secant, cosecant, oh. or cotangent. Okay, well, what are inverses? Inverse functions. I thought those were. Isn't that where you just flip them? Isn't that one of them? Those are reciprocals of what you're trying to think of. Isn't that okay. where you just flip them? That's no. the same thing with like the C and cosine. And this is one over negative sine. Oh. Oh, I remember that. Is that what that's called? You see, I don't remember any yeah. of this because we never yeah. had it. Yeah. Okay, okay, hey, hey, I get it. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Because we're going to do it. I heard it's E. Bear with me right there. So you got the cosine. 40 degrees. Well, it is. It's sine negative 1. Yeah, 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 are you talking about Did you know that the derivative so, of that would be <laughs> the derivative of that would be negative of one slot to the negative second power? Yeah. Actually not. If we take derivatives of trig functions, that's not how that works. Well, if it's yeah. so, f of two x okay. equals five hundred newtons times the cosine. We're already on the x. Which will equal to 
No, I'm just letting you know you can do that. <laughs> I get 383.022 newtons. Technically, wouldn't that be two, negative two? Two, 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 two? Because it's going opposite. Yes, negative three. It points. will be negative, and this is where you have to notice that. You solve for magnitude. You've got to visual, visually see it. That that is going in the negative direction. Therefore, that's got to be negative. Okay, so for all students take calculus thing with the different quadrants, is that does that apply to here, or is it you just kind of look at it and see? So will the x direction always be the cosine, and the y direction be sine? Okay. Okay, what is that? Problem? I'm trying to remember what the all students take calculus the thing. The first was. quadrant, that's everything that's positive. I know that's all of them. The second one's is sine. The third is the tangent. Of fourth is Cosine. Yes, but on it. Yeah, that'd work for this. So if you're going, can I ask you this? If you're going like, is technically yes, okay. you're correct. Don't Where you have that. these, right? Mm -hmm. If you're going like this, would you use the tangent instead of sine and cosine? It's all about what I give you. All about the sides. Well, so will always be and sine and, and cosine? No. No. We still use tangent. It just depends on like. Then when would you use tangent? Guys, y'all are looking and wanting to know, okay, this is where, and I ain't being mean, and I love love our math department, but this is where you guys have been hurt because what you've learned <laughs> is to do one thing, do it 20 times, and do it well. Man. <laughs> when you go to college, they are not going to want you to do that. They're going to want you to be able to do 20 things, very well, and know when to do them. This is different. This is why I tell kids, when you ask me, do I need this, I say yes. Because I'm taking you, just like in chemistry with nomenclature, I'm not giving you, give me the nomenclature of ionic bonds. Give me the nomenclature of covalent bonds. I'm not asking you to do the one thing 20 times. I'm asking you, here's 20 problems, figure out when you need to use what to use. You are not going to have a definite answer in this. You have to be able to look at it and know when to do what to do. That's what we're asking you. No, you want a definite answer. That's what you're asking for. No, Will it always be sine and cosine? Yeah, because this is how I get your attention. You guys have been trained to do this. You guys want well, to know will it always be that? The yeah. answer is no. It's not always going to be that. It's the system is broken, okay? It's not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then it's my job in here. I can't use that as an excuse. You are my students. <laughs> He's not yelling at us. He is proving his point Shut with a loud voice. I'm not, okay? But I'm going to be honest. Right here is my point. As I look and I've explained to you why I cannot give you a definite answer, and you say you're not asking for a definite answer, but you are. You want to know every time am I going to have to use sine and cosine? I don't know. It depends on the problem. No. It depends on what it asks for. Okay, like when it's whatever. like this, yeah. Okay, you're Jeez. looking at two forces like this. Yeah. But if I gave... If I wanted you to find two forces like this, yes. it depends on the side and angles I give you. Exactly. I don't know. Uh, okay. I would, I would but it would still be positive and negative. Well, the, the y axis. You can break it down way. in that. If it was going this way. I know the quadrants, though. The at least side. I know the quadrants. That's good. <laughs> And I'm not mad at y'all, but I'm telling you and I'm trying to explain to you why I can't give you a definite answer in this. It's impossible me give you that answer because you've been you have been driven to do this. That's why when students like you come into physics, it's such a struggle. You are the top of your class and you are the smartest and brightest yeah. students we have. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what have you learned system. to do? You've learned to do one or two things and do it well. Yeah. And then, over and over. After you've done it, we they're gonna ask you to do it on a quiz. And then we throw. And then you're gonna learn another thing. And then we got to do another thing. And then we do another thing. And then we bomb. In classes, what? And in life, they're gonna look at you and they're gonna say, "You need to be able to do all of this." 
Well, when do I do that? When you need to. Well, when do I need to? You need well, it to depends know. on the circumstances. You need to know the circumstances. They need to You've circumstances. got to know. It's like trying to figure out if you need to cash your card. So, so it, okay, just, it's like figuring out. We've been conditioned to do oh, yes. certain things. Pavlov's dogs. But then that's all. Dog. That's, we can't. It's yes, you fault. can. No, it's not, it's not your fault. fault, and I'm not blaming y'all, but I'm trying to explain to you, because I'm up front with y'all. I'm yeah. open with you guys, and I'm trying to explain to you. You guys are trying, you guys are fighting me, you feel like I'm a brick wall. I'm a brick wall because I'm like, I'm not caving. I will not change what I require you to do, because I know in the long run, it's better off for you. Yeah, but then when you teach us to do that way, then we're going to be bad at <laughs> No, you won't. Hey, if we um, figured out something, or what, were, what are we doing with Calvin? In real seriousness, when we've been in this art no, room, we're now like, oh. no, that depends on the reference point, and if we want to yeah. make this that way, then we should be able to do that. I think she, like, she was like, like well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. It's a different mind. She thinks mathematically, See, I think. What if we use that? That, means, on that a, means that we're supposed to have two different minds for the school. What, so, if, what if we use the math for on our 1D motion? Basically, yeah. What you've come down to it, it is that you need to answer, you need to answer. there are you so many like, different oh, ways of mean. thinking. And this person that thinks this way thinks they're right. This person that thinks this way thinks they're right. What's to say they're not both right? Do y'all remember when you were on that? Alright, so in this, you now have the components. So we can now solve for the net force. So in this case, I have force of one of the net force in the x direction is equal to force one of x plus force two of x. So like like Mr. In says, unless we dig William Shakespeare up from the grave, we'll never know what it's actually about. So, how do you know what um, is actually, like, what's actually happening here? Uh, when you find a, a net force for one day, is it, how do you... Summation of all the forces. So you add all of them up? Yeah. All right. Of X. <clears throat> well, it depends. You'd be looking in the Y direction. You'll be in one day. Right? Yeah, you'll be in one dimension. Though. So it won't technically matter since you're only moving in one direction. Yeah, I will not, like, I cannot break you from 1D and X to take you to 1D and Y. Okay. I can't do that. Okay. Mr. Hall. Yeah. How did we get the negative of 383? Because we got 383.02222 Newtons. So no, I'm saying, yeah, I, I, I know where, I'm saying where did we get it from that because on my calculator, I got negative 333. Point four six nine zero. Oh, what did you I type in? The wrong thing. 500 times cosine 40. Are you in radians? I don't know. Right here, I did, Roy, this says degree. Does your say radians? Yes, he's in degree. Or he's in radians. I don't know how to change this. Well, I, just, yeah, I think cool. so. <laughs> hey, okay, you gotta go to mode and then just go down. To radians. You can go over to degree and hit enter. Yep. That's how you change it. That's why I stress that to y'all, because a lot of people, like, when you get in college, professors will not allow you to stress that. Like, they will not stress that to you, and they'll just let you fail. I vote we put Connor in timeout for five minutes. <laughs> for what? You not? For you no. being a jerk. Okay. I love how y'all love each other. All right, so the net force next sorry, direction what? is negative 125.9072 newtons. So now we need the net force in the y direction. 627.8116. Wow, yeah. Isn't that y? Isn't that What'd you get? 627.8116. Yeah. That's what I Actually. Thanks. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait. Did I do that wrong? So all it is is summation of force one in the y direction plus force two in the y direction. And I got this number, like I've, I've got my notebook from last year that I keep looking at to make sure we're good. So, How did you get that? 
That's on the Oh, that's the answer. Okay. Yeah, that's the okay. answer. Like, Thomas just threw it out, and I figured you guys would be fine adding two numbers together. Well, no, I'm not. Well, excuse me. Let's see. Yeah. I think it's a bird. All right. So you got to get those values. I got five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 So then we take those, and that's when we do the f net x squared plus f net y squared. Under the you can. It's down to you what step you want to do right here. I'm going to label something out first. You can do that next step. If Nick, I, I was so lost, I didn't realize you took a picture of it, and I was like, his hands are moving there, but they're just so still there. <laughs> All right, y'all good there? Oh, yes. All right, so in this case, all I've done is I've wrote out the Scortesian <laughs> system and I wrote these down. So here's what we do now. We now look at it and we need the net force. The net force is the resulting vector from these two. So this is like what we're looking at. We know how to do So we're going from this point. We're going to start here. Let's go to X. So negative 125.9072. So, it's to the left, because we're in the negative direction, and we go over. Their vector, 125.9072. And that's new. Then we have the Y. I'm going to do tip to tail. What? So, we go from the tip. To form the tail of the next one, and I go up in the y direction, and this is 627.8116 newtons. I went up because it's in the positive direction. Now in this, this right here, that was awful. This is where we use tangent, Billy? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, Alright, at this point, what we're going to do, we're going to find this is the actual net force here. Okay? Oh, so this will be the actual net force. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use that one equation that I read out, wrote out to you guys on the front, which is just the Pythagorean theorem. That's all it is. 640.3. Wait a minute, the Pythagorean theorem? Yeah. Alright, let's see. What did you say, Connor? Not Connor. Sorry, Thomas. 640.3124 newtons. Yes. Now, here's the thing. This is where the tangent will come in at. I always like to use as my numbers that I've done the least calculations to get. So, in this case, this number is based off these two calculations. So, I don't want to reuse this number in another calculation. I know we calculated these two, but there was less calculations in this. So I will use the opposite, and I will use the adjacent side. I will use the tangent of that, and then I'll do the inverse tangent to find this angle theta. Once I find theta, I'm still not done, but we'll pick up there tomorrow. 78 point 66. Yeah, that's all. Sometimes you talk, you sound like you're announcing a movie. I'm announcing what? Like you're like a voiceover in a movie. I hope. Well, we'll tomorrow, or like a no, like, no reality TV. Probably did that wrong. What'd you get? I think I did. Dang, no, give me that. 78.62. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Your two places faster than F molecule. 78.6598. Yes, that's the reference point. But now we got to work from that. Okay? This is too so much. We will pick up there tomorrow. This is too much. You feel like it's too much. But